Hey everyone, Dan here. I wanted to take time today to look at CRISPR therapeutics. I think it's an interesting case. Uh, I'm in CRISPR currently. And uh, before we get started, I would say if you enjoy this uh, video, this analysis, please hit the like and subscribe button. It helps a lot. And let's get going. So we're sitting here right now. Um, we're after hours on a Friday. And, you know, we recently reached down, this is the one hour chart, recently reached down to this 121 level. And so I'm really looking for that to be the floor for this current downtrend that we've been in. And um, if this can establish as the floor, I'll sort of give the bullish case um, for where we go from here. If we can't hold this as the floor, I think that we risk dropping down into the low 100s, which I probably would not have the stomach for. So I would probably have to get out and just sort of like readdress CRISPR another day. Um, but I, I do see that happening if we sort of drop below this 121 and start, you know, bumping our heads up against that level and then drop further down. So be cautious of that. I do want to show this 121 level actually does have really important um, historical context. So if I switch to the day chart here, this inflection point here, which really solidified this initial push of an uptrend, um, you know, it hit that point as a resistance first and on the following hour was able to establish this as long-term support. Um, so this was on uh, November 30th, so this has been a few months now uh, that we've seen this trajectory and this chart playing out, and we're back there now. So <laughs> this is why I say, you know, if we break through there, I really think we're going down to try to find supports um, probably right about here, we'll put you at 106.25. So, you know, pretty challenging uh, drop if that's the case. But let's hope that the bullish scenario wins on this one. And let me show you what that is. So um, if we can hold above this 121, and even if we come down, we push off of it again, I think our next target that we're looking for is 132. And, um, you know, as we see before, you know, this was a resistance point here that pushed us further down. Um, there was some struggling back and forth to try to see if we could throw an impulsive wave here, and we weren't able to. Um, so I do think that that's going to be my initial target, that 132. If we can um, take our price action beyond 132 and establish that as support, then I'm looking at the 141 level. I do think there's like a small chance that this like 138, 139 level gives us a little bit of trouble. So we maybe want to see what it does there. But the 141.92 is really where all of these tops and this bottom, um, you know, it was like previously an area of support, 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 and even here, support. And then it quickly turned to resistance, 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 resistance. So there's a lot of activity that takes place at that price point. So we'd want to be looking for what's going to happen there. And we might have relatively smooth sailing in between. And that's a pretty solid jump. You know, it's almost 10 bucks. Uh, we don't get <laughs> so much of a reprieve on the following price target if we... Um, you know, make our, our way past this, say, 142, then I think about, you know, just before 146, we're going to bump up against uh, a few things again. And um, it, I don't think it'll be as challenging of a level as this 141. But just keep in mind that that means that if it breaks above 145.91, it also doesn't act as such a strong level of support. So it could very easily come up over this and test, you know, this area here, and bounce around a little bit and drop down and fall through 145, but then we'll be looking for it to bounce off this 141.92 again. And if it dipped below that, then I would consider that being more troublesome. But don't be too concerned, or at least I won't be too concerned, if this 145.91 doesn't act as really strong immediate support. Uh, but anyway, you know, if we can bounce off of that um, and, and work our way up, this 152.49 will be my next target. 
there's a lot of action here, topping out, topping out, topping out. Um, and this one here is really the key to me. Um, you know, this was a, an incredibly steep drop that was caught by this level, and this level tossed it back up, and that sustained for the rest of that day at least, and including after hours until the following morning. Then it came back down and tested it again, and it, the following day it became the resistance level that shot us downward. So that's going to be a really, really important one, 157.31. going to be hard to break through, but once we do, it'll be an excellent level of support. And, um, you know, same thing with uh, 164.91. Um, you know, that area has all of these tops in it. Um, and so that's, you know, we're going to bang our head up against there a little bit. So, you know, that's my case for CRISPR. Uh, I do think as it, as it looks right now down here, as sad as this chart is, <laughs> I do think that there's a strong possibility that we've hit a legitimate floor when we hit 121 and that we are going to make our way up from here. But, you know, I'm looking to see what it does if it tests 121 again. And, um, and then I'm looking to see what it does once it hits this 132 level. Uh, that's that's where we have to start. So, you know, we can worry about all this stuff later <laughs> um, if we can even make it past these first couple of, of price points. But anyway, uh, good luck if you play this or if you're in it. Uh, feel free to let me know how you're doing in the comments below or on Twitter. I'm at Dan underscore Coil. I'll put that in the description below. And in any case, I will plan on seeing you in the next video.